Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Gade, Alexander Skarsgård. This movie is amazing, and I've got to tell you, I loved it. I don't remember a coming-of-age story for a young woman quite like this. And the relationship between you and Belle in the movie is phenomenal. Talk to me about telling this story. Uh, well, that was kind of my reaction when I first read the script. I, and then I felt bad, because I was like, why have I not seen this before? Because there's been so many great coming-of-age stories from a young boy's point of view, from his perspective, where that are, like, direct and honest and unapologetic and but when it comes to girls it's quite stigmatized their sexuality and their journey as teenagers so it was just really refreshing in, in to read something where a teenage girl was actually like talking and thinking about sex and um, and not just waiting for that knight in shining armor to come and rescue her and you know um, and and what and Monroe I thought was a very challenging character like to play because and to discover who to find a way to play someone who can so easily it could so easily become too predatory I think yep. that, that relationship um, and that got me excited like is there any way of making like breaking that up in a way so it's not too predatory because if it's if you play it that way it's not gonna be interesting to watch it for an, creepy. it comes off creepy and that's fine if it's just in brief moments but for an hour and 40 minutes you just gonna like get rid of this douchebag you know so it was, in, it was just interesting trying to find a way into the character and the relationship where you can have moments where they're actually connecting on a beautiful level and you as an, as an audience member watching it might even like root for them for a brief moment and then like it gets more interesting and more conflicted in a way and I think when you, it's always more interesting when you make the audience confused or where they're like, oh, sh I, wanna, I should feel this way but I feel the opposite, what's wrong and what's going on and um, so it's just lovely to try to discover that with Belle and Mari. How do you get that with Belle? Because you're right, that was the thing I was thinking as an actor, this could have gone so predatory, it could have gone so creepy, and yet your character is so casual, and it is part of the time period, what's going on in San Francisco at that time, that end of that hipster period, the hippie period, but it's still, to find that chemistry must have been a, a challenge. Well, it's not really. When, when you meet Belle, like her energy, because she's so, first of all, an amazing actress, but also so perfect for the role because it was important to find someone who could play that like youthful innocence and almost be to almost be naive in moments, but at the same time be a bit precocious and and uh, um, and, 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 and and even like there are moments where she's more mature and responsible than than he is, and it was important to find someone who could like play find that balance because had she been too like young and naive. It would have been very predatory, and there's no way you would have accepted this, even for a brief moment. Um, I think she did an amazing job in finding that.